Good morning. This is how to make your own biodigester at home. I said here goodbye LPG because LPG is normally used at home. Next, this is my kitchen ways. I use some of the fillings of the vegetables and fruits and not only vegetables and food, I also use the fish intestine, weeds and grasses. These are pure kitchen ways. I don't have cow down here. This one is the setup of my biodigester. As you can see, I have a 2,000 liter of uh, plastic drum and I have also an interior tire of a truck which used to capture the gases that comes out from the biodigester. It goes here. It captures the gas. I have here a T-joint copper which is a normal standard size. This is another type of a T-joint. I really bring this one in the hardware because I don't know the correct size of the tube or the chemical tube which we, which we use here in my country. For me to have a correct fit of the tube, I bring this one to the hardware. Now this one, are many of these one ask me a question if what is this? This is a copper faucet with which I use for my gas outlet. This type is a closed type. This is how if it is open. The handle is now at the side which means it is open. Every time I put on my kitchen waste, I close this one so that there is no gas that comes out. In this area, this is where I drill this one in the correct size of the PVC pipe. This is a standard size of the uh, PVC pipe for water. And the gray one is the adhesive, the heavy adhesive type which I ask in the um, hardware. Now to correct if there is or to check if there is uh, an air that goes out inside from the biodigester, just use a liquid soap or a liquid uh, dish soap here. And if there, if there is a bubbles that comes out, it means there is a... Um, air or a leaking anyway if it is a heavy adhesive type uh, you don't need to worry that one next i have here a standard size of a pvc water tube you don't need to use this one because this is an optional but in my in my case i use this one as a plunger to plunge or push the kitchen waste inside of this biodigester I have here the old uh, mineral water bottle. I cut this one out so that I can use as a funnel. This one, how I use this one, it's like this. I make as a funnel wherein I put on the kitchen waste inside to my um, kitchen waste outlet. Let's recap. This is one. This one now is the gas outlet. The kitchen inlet or the waste inlet this one is another fitting from the faucet it is a fitting which i asked to the hardware if i can have this one like um, um, using a garden hose where we can put in the garden hose here so i use this one because it has a anyway it's still tube the same it's you you need to fit a tube there okay again gas outlet kitchen inlet or waste inlet kitchen waste inlet sorry next is a t-joint the t-joint now is used wherein from the gas outlet it goes here and it passes through here and connect to this interior tire of the truck which capture the gas this one is another the, the another uh, passage is used for the connection of the um, gas the biogas to This one is a clamp, the very small clamp which I also bought from the hardware. So the T-joint is very important to bring this one in buying those two because you can easily fit the right, the right um, size of the chemical tube and as well as the clamp. This is now the view, okay, my biodigester. This one as the the go the gas goes out here and gets in here to the tire to the interior tire of the truck. If you buy a good if you buy a new one 
inside of here in this inside of here there's something that you need to get that one to flyer so that uh, you can after do not put the uh, tubing do not put the tubing without um, getting out the a little metal inside of that if you can if you cannot take that out through the flyer you can bring this one to the vulcanizing shop and let them do the work for you okay this one is the slurry outlet wherein the water goes out of the the excess water goes out of the biodigester gas the excess water you can use the so that one as a um, fertilizer to your garden for vegetable and even in the trees you can dil dilute that one with water or mix that one with uh, fresh water and then that's it okay this is again my uh, setup so this is the gas outlet the kitchen inlet the slurry outlet the number of the PVC cup this is a PVC cup the thicker one because there are two types so I bought the thicker one because they said it is a hard way uh, a hard heavy duty one so the thicker one um, the name of this is a PVC cup number three okay so if you put on a pail of um, kitchen waste you need also a pail of water if it is a pail of um, i'm sorry if it is uh, a pitcher of a kitchen waste it also uh, a pitcher of um, water one is to one now for me in my case i collected a very small amount from the because we're only a small family so from the from the morning lunch and dinner every every day every night i put in here the my kitchen waste and i put also a estimated water if how much i can collect it at the end of the day okay next i'm sorry for the pop up i already pulled up the tube here so if you can see this one is that the joint uh, from the interior tire on the um, on my previous slide so this one again is uh, connected to the uh, biodegrade uh, biogas i'm sorry biogas tube this one they called it a bolt bulb bolt bulb it opens and it opens and close this one so and then there is a connector of this you, I need another uh, tube for my gas, another like this tube for my gas stove, okay? This gas stove is for LPG gas stove. This is my stove, my single burner stove, but I need to, I already converted this one as a biogas stove. You need to convert your biogas stove because you cannot use if it is still LPG stove. So there is a little uh, thing that you need to drill here in a very small drill bits so that it is converted into a biogas stove. If it is already conver converted in a biogas stove, you can't uh, not anymore use this one as an LPG stove. Okay. Now, uh, if you have more questions, you can just comment below and um, I will answer those um, questions that you will have in the future. Thanks for watching.